I just want to talk about my lovely experience with pancakes. Yes, yes. Dun, yeah, Mika Marmalade had a really rough day today. So I decided to treat myself to some homemade pancakes. Well, not homemade, box homemade. But whenever I do any kind of box kit or anything, I always do the quote unquote box, box cake mix, box mix, whatever hack. So I was looking distinctively for one that's involving sour cream. And I couldn't really find anything that was involving sour cream using like a recipe like here's how you make sour cream how you use sour cream in pancakes and i'm just doing like a general duck duck go search so it's not like i'm putting like you know extensive research i'm throwing on my whole um my whole scholar hat and everything and i'm gonna be like i'm gonna find the answer after a few searches and trying to try different terms i gave up and i'm like uh i guess i'm just gonna experiment with it and if it goes well it goes well if it doesn't oh well the only thing I was able to verify or find is use um, milk instead of water, which, uh, <laughs> duh. <laughs> um, but it's, I thought about it. I'm like, okay, so the recipe, I'm just making it for myself. So it says use two thirds of a cup of water. So in my mind, at first, I took my sour cream out. I'm like, I'm going to use two thirds of a cup of sour cream. Nay, nay. As soon as I took one third of a cup out, I was like, this is really fucking thick. <laughs> I'm not doing that. <laughs> so what I did was I take one third of a cup of sour cream and one third of a cup of milk. And then I basically just added one egg. And the mixture was very, the egg and the one third of a cup of milk gave it enough mixture and moisture and it was perfect like it wasn't too runny it wasn't too thick one thing I did learn from reading my research even though I couldn't find a sour cream one was something I've never done before you're supposed to actually let your pancake mix sit for at least 15 minutes before using it and I never knew that so I basically did that and I I went back and I had like a little couple of breakfast sausage and I made myself some scrambled eggs, etc. Because I wanted to have the whole breakfast shebang. Like it was going to be great. Like I'm like, look, this is going to be my moment today. I did everything. It took like, I'm not going to lie, it took me like two hours. I was not rushing the process. One thing about me is I'm, I, I just, I wasn't rushing it. Also, I didn't. I haven't made pancakes in like so long that basically I didn't even have my heat up on my little electric skillet thing. It's like an electric skillet pan kind of ordeal. So my heat was like kind of medium low and I needed it to be like medium high. So I increased it a little bit and my pancakes started cooking better. Because you don't want to burn them, but you don't want like, um, like, you know, basically dough pancakes, cooked dough. Like, that's not good either. So, everything came out smoothly without a hitch. I'm just watching you, listening to YouTube, watching YouTube videos in the background as I'm slowly doing everything. And then I sit down and I take my first bite. And it is so delicious. And I'm thinking, this, I can clearly taste the egg in like a good way though like you know if you taste something and you it has a distinctive flavor like you could tell but it's not in a bad manner like it's not like I'm just tasting the egg because I can taste like the yolk of the egg like I would eat in an egg over easy kind of thing like I could taste that fluffy and it came out fluffy too like it was great and I'm thinking to myself, I never knew I could make pancakes so delicious. I'm so proud. So yeah, that's me, Kumar Malay's experience. Long story short, no one taught me how to cook as I was a child. So I'd be learning every fucking thing late. Like, I didn't even know about shea butter until I was 30. Okay, so let me have my pancake moment. That is all for today. Have a great day.